What's up, my meatballs? It's Aaron and Mar. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. Last time, we went through the Pokemon Mansion and we got the secret key. And so this time, we'll be able to go right here and into the gym. Yo, champ in the making. The hothead Blaine is a fire Pokemon pro. Douse his spirits with water. You better take some burn heals too. All right, I'll take those burn heals. Cinemar Gym Leader Blaine, winning trainers, blue. Great. Oh, fantastic. So, the way this gym works is you come up to this machine and you answer a riddle. Pokemon quiz. Get it right and the door opens to the next room. Get it wrong and face a trainer. If you want to conserve your Pokemon for the gym leader, then get it right. Here we go. Caterpie evolves into Metapod. The correct answer is yes. You're absolutely correct. Go on through. But for the sake of training, I'm going to battle this guy anyway. I'm trying not to use the easy way out by just sweeping with uh, Leonardo, but I just uh, I just want to get some other training done. I mean, I can sweep with Leonardo if I wanted, but this is still a good option here. Because um, Figfest, even though it's weak, it's still got uh, like a level and a half done. Um, and nothing else really has a weakness to fire. I don't really have a weakness to fire, so that's pretty good. Alright, so this guy I think we can battle, right? You know how Pokemon Fire Breath can get? Why don't you tell us, Mr. Science? Every time! I really want to know why they do this every freaking time. It's not gonna evolve ever. You should have just done it the one time. And now I have to just sit through it every time. That's just not cool. Alright, so I think that guy was just a random trainer. This time we have a quiz, and this is the trainer we have to fight. So let's see. Pokemon quiz! Get it right, and the door opens to the next room. Get it wrong, and face a trainer. If you want to conserve your Pokemon for the gym leader, get it right, here we go. There are nine certified Pokemon League badges. No. There are eight. You're absolutely correct. Go on through. Hey, buddy. I've always really liked this gym for the sole reason that it basically stops and takes a look at new players and sees how much they've paid attention to the game as they've gone through. Like, you wouldn't know the 8 badges unless you like read it or if you were like paying attention while you played the game. Alright, let's see what this quiz is. Poliwag evolves three times. Poliwag. I'm gonna say no. Cause there's Poliwag into Poliwhirl. And then from Poliwhirl, it can go to either Politoad or Poliwrath. But because this is from the first gen, I'm going to say no because Politoad wasn't a thing yet. Alright. You're absolutely correct. Go on through. Alright, I have no idea why I got that right, but... Alright, let's go ahead and fight this guy, and then we're gonna see where we go from there.
That guy only had one Pokemon and he was spending the whole time using agility. What the heck, man? Alright, next quiz. Pokemon quiz! Oh gosh, you have to tell it every time. Alright. Are electric moves effective against ground type Pokemon? Heck no! Alright, I'm absolutely correct. Go on through. Hey, guy. Wait, I want to see what hasn't been used yet. Azula really hasn't been used, and I, I chose not to do that just because of the whole fire type thing. I don't know why. So, I know why Blaine became a trainer. Well, why don't you share that information? These trainers are terrible. That guy just knocked himself out. Alright, what's the reason? Our leader Blaine became lost in the mountains, but good. Okay. Night fell when a fiery bird Pokemon appeared. It, its light allowed Blaine to find his way down to safety. I think that was safely. I think that was messed up, but whatever. Oh, whatever. Okay. Pokemon quiz. Blah, blah, blah. Let me get to the door. Pokemon of the same kind and level are not identical. Alright, I think this is one of the ones that's like a trick question, so let me see. Pokemon that are of the same kind and level, they... well, what does kind mean? Does kind mean type or species? Because two Nido Queens at the same level are kind of identical, but they wouldn't be identical either way. No. What? Oh, are not identical, so it should have been yes. Man, those Jeopardy answers get me, man. Whatever. I've been to many gyms, but this one best suits my style of only having to battle half the time. Alright, so that door opened. I think this is it. I think... No, we have one more, and then Blaine is in the next room, so... Let's answer it. Oh, gosh. We can never get, like, straight to the question. We have to go through all the precursor. TM28 contains Tombstony. <laughs> well, I know for a fact that that's not a move at all, so no. Oh, gosh. Go on through. Fire is weak against H2O. Gosh, everyone here thinks they're freaking, like, Einstein or something. Alright, and, and no, by the way, knowing H2O isn't even, like, a nerdy, like... Thing at all. What is this? It's a photo of Blaine and Mr. Fuji. They're standing shoulder to shoulder with big grins. It's because they look alike. Alright, I'm gonna go heal and then be right back. Ah! Alright, so I'm going to try and avoid straight up going out and using Leonardo just because that would feel really cheap. I would just sweep this whole team. I'm gonna start trying to use. Start out trying using different Pokemon, but then I'll probably just go straight to Leonardo if things go south. Ha! I am Blaine, the Red Hot Leader of Cinnabar Gym. My fiery Pokemon are all rough and ready with intense heat. They incinerate all challengers. Ha! You better have burn heal. Boo! Alright, so here we go to take on Leader Blaine. Alright. Sends out Growlithe first off. Level 42, good lord. Alright, so let's see what we can do to this Growlithe. Let's see if we can get a Paralyze off it, that would be cool. Oh, nice! First turn! Oh, and he's got Fire Blast. And of course it hits. Very first turn. Luckily I survived though, so we're gonna see... We're probably just gonna dwindle. I didn't expect to do much with Peeves, so... If, even if he manages a oh, bite, that was probably not a smart idea to lead off, but oh well, we will learn from our mistakes and we'll go in with Fig Fest. Fig Fest should be able to at least take out Growlithe here. If not, oh my goodness, that'll be bad. 
bump. Okay, excellent. So down goes Growlithe, and out will come Ponyta. So, we better... Oh no, I have to sneeze. Hold on, I'll do Karate Chop while I sneeze. Whoa, critical hit! Nice, and I didn't even get to sneeze. Because it went away. Alright, so I'm about to use Rapidash now. Um, I think now's a good time to try and use Leonardo, I think. Maybe yes, no, maybe so. Probably. Alright. And let's use Surf! Oh, and Fire Blast Miss. Nice. Alright. Let's see if this one hits. Ni oh, nice. And a critical hit. What is with critical hits this fight? Man. Bump. Alright. And he's about to use Arcanine. Ugh. One of the, in my opinion, one of the coolest Pokemon there is. I don't know, there's just something about Arcanine that vibes coolness. And they tried to make him one of those legendary Pokemon that is really hard to find, at least in the anime. But in the, the, this game, it's like you can get an Arcanine, you can get a whole team of Arcanines if you wanted. Because you just go buy a fi six Fire Stones, capture six Growlithe, and then you're good to go. You have six Arcanines. Heck, you could have a level one Arcanine. Ugh. Whatever, there's my rant, and down goes Leader Blaine. I have burned down to nothing, not even ashes remain. You have earned the Volcano Badge. Excellent. Ha! Volcano Badge heightens the special stats of your Pokemon. Here, you can have this too. And we get TM38, what is it? Is it Fire Blast? Fire Blast is the ultimate fire technique. Don't waste it on water Pokemon. Wow, you know what, just for that, I'm gonna use it on my, my Blastoise. I'm just kidding. Alright, so, uh, that was a pretty easy gym battle, to be honest. Like, even when I, even only using Blastoise half the times, Leonardo, I still, like, swept. Which is pretty interesting. Alright, so let's exit the gym. Oh, hello there! Huh? Hey, if it isn't Aaron! Look, it's me, Bill! No long time, no see. I hope you're still using my PC system. Well, listen, since we met up here, how about spending time with me? There's this little island in the far south called One Island. A friend invited me, so I'm on my way out there. How about it? Do you feel like coming with me? This is something you have to do to uh, progress the time, progress the plot. Kind of. To get to the final gym, you have to do this. So, we're gonna say yes! Alright then, let's go! And here comes the ship conveniently right as he asked. Look, my pal's boat arrived too. He sent it specially here to Cinnabar to pick me up. Man, I didn't know we had some uh, artificial intelligent boats here. Alright, and off we go. And here we are on... One Island! Here we are, this is One Island. There are several islands around here, and this is one of them. Oh, no you won't say. My friend Celio sent the boat to fetch me here. He's in charge of the island's PC network by his lonesome. Is it Celio or Celio? Why am I telling you this now? Let's just go see Celio. I'll say Celio. To not confuse you with the seal Pokemon. Okay. And this is excellent remix music. Hey there, Celio! Bill, I can't believe you came out here. Well, absolutely. How's your research coming along? Oh, wait a sec. Aaron, this is my buddy Celio. He's one dedicated PC maniac. Celio, this is Aaron, a rising contender as the Pokemon champ. That's really impressive. I hate to say it, but I have zero aptitude for battling. You're talking to no one. Anyways, I'm glad to meet you. So, bring me up to speed. How's your machine running? It's running fine, but we're too remote out here. The PCs on this island just can't link with your PC, Bill. Oh yeah? Okay, let me take a look-see. Hang on here, I think we can make it work. Let me help you, okay? Aaron, can I get you to wait for me for just a bit? Actually, can I get you to do a favor for me? I know that's not what it says, but I read that anyway! The island next to this one's called Two Island. There's a guy there that runs a game corner. He has this thing for rare rocks and gems. We keep in touch being fellow maniacs. So, can I get you to deliver this meteorite to him? I guess. Aaron, if you're going to Two Island, please take this. And we get the Tri-Pass, so now we'll be able to travel anywhere uh, on the three islands. It will let you travel between islands 1, 2, and 3. Oh, you should have this too. An extra page for the town map, so now we have a map for one, two, and three island. So, now that we've been given a job and I still need to heal my Pokemon, which I think, yeah. Still need to heal my Pokemon. 
that's what we're gonna end this episode off on. So, thank you all for watching this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. Next time, we'll be doing these errands for Bill and Celio. Have you finished those errands? Have you finished those errands? And... Oh, I think that's probably it. So, thank you all for watching once again, and I will see you in the next episode of Let's Play Poketa Monster Leaf Green. Have a great day, everyone.